Have you been racking your brain how to get multiple photos into one design without shrinking them to death and not being able to see them? I may have a solution for you. It's called a photo carousel. And let me show you how to create one. First off, welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle and let's make a carousel. So the first thing you need to do is get your photos ready. You want an odd number of photos because of the way the carousel is and the photos behind it. You want an odd number to have something to put behind in between each photo. So let's go and get some photos. So as you can see here, it looks like I, I don't know what yours looks like, but mine, all these pink photos popped up at the trending stuff. So I just used <laughs> whatever was in the front. So what you want to do here is you want to go and pick out your photos and then get them descending in sizes. The other thing you can do if you really, really want to is you can make that center one bigger if you like. That's up to you. Um... If you figure out a different way to make it actually look cooler, please like let me know in the comments. And if you have somewhere I can see it, please let me know. So that would be awesome. So what we're doing here, we're just going to keep lining everything up, getting them to the right size. I always like to put the photo in the corner and drag by the bottom right corner to size these. Um, it's just the way I do it. I mean... You might have a different way, but that's just the way I do it at the moment. So we're just going to keep sizing these and getting these set up into the proper order that we want them in. And then what we're going to do here is we are going to not group them, but we're just going to highlight them and put the position on them and tidy, the, tidy them up. So now that we got them tidied up, we will group them together and position them on the page where we want to center it up put it wherever you want to do and then we'll ungroup them again so now that we have our initial photos what we need is the next four to go behind it so let's pick out four photos let's see here we already got that one let's go here 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 and here all right, now we've got our four photos. What we want to do is pick what size we want. And we want the four photos in the back to be all the same size. So we're going to size these up to the same size. And then we are going to get ready to place them. First, we got to do, we got to go up here and change the transparency, all of them, to 50. So I'm going to put 50 in our... 50, enter, oops, that didn't work, um, hold on, 50, enter, 50, enter, and 50, and enter, all right, now that we have those there, what we want to do is line them up, kind of centered, and all in the same line. So we're going to do that real quick. And we're going to put these here. And there we go. And get those all lined up there. And then what we want to we want to look at them and then what we're going to do now is we're going to go up into position and we're going to hit layers and we're going to make sure that all of those are behind our solid pictures so with this laser makes it easier all you got to do is drag them down to the bottom to make sure they're behind and what you want to do now is you want to look very closely that those are all behind so what i'm going to do now is delete that first one that i had as an example so that doesn't get in our way and now what we're going to do, we are going to duplicate the page. So what I want to do now that I have the page duplicated, I want to go and group all of these together. And then I want to make a copy. And the reason I want to make a copy is because I want a template so I know where to move my pictures to. If you're talented enough to do it without a template, God bless you. 
but I need a template. And I found that was the easiest way for me to move them and make sure I was going, getting the right size and the right position for each picture. And at the end, we're going to remove the templates off of each slide, but we're going to use them for now to use that as a template. So your one in the back is going to stay grouped and the one in the front is the one you're going to move. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move each one over. So this is my technique to do it. So what I do is I go from the outside and I'm going to pull the last one off and I'm going to take that down to 50 and I'm going to pull all the little ones up and move them over one. So because they're kind of hard to see on top of the template and I'm going to take the end one down and I'm going to put that back to 100. And then I'm going to start moving my pictures over one by one. So as you can see, I take the corner, line it up, and then I take that bottom right corner and pull it up for my alignment. And then you can take, if you want to, you can go ahead and take your photos down from the middle and just go ahead and line them up. You can do it either way. You can do them one at a time. It's, your technique is up to you. But we're going to pull those down and we're going to put those down in the center. And then what we're going to do is move our other big photos over. So we're going to take each one and move them over one spot and then push them up. And then we're going to go over here and do the same. And we're going to move each one of them over and line them up on top of the next part of the template. That's why I use the template. If you can see, I just think if there was nothing back there, it would be just so hard trying to do it. I know it looks a little confusing, but once you get you you get it down, it, it makes it so much easier. So now that you see, you can see some that are top. We're going to go over to our positions tab and we are going to move all the transparent ones down to the bottom and all our solid ones to the top. So we want to make sure that all of our transparent ones are on behind all of our solid images. And then once we're good about that, we can do it. If you need any fine tuning, you can go and uh, open it, close it, or use your arrow keys. So now we're going to duplicate the page and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go up 50. We're going to take all our little ones out, hop them over, take the last little one out, Put that back to 100 so we know that's the next solid one. And then we're going to just start moving over. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish this up for you and then I'll be back. If you're enjoying this video, please consider hitting that like button down there and also subscribing to the channel for more and fun and interesting tutorials.
second to last page. So what I want to do now, I'm going to duplicate this page. So when I do, the easiest thing to do now, because you have the original one behind it, is just take all these off and delete these. And then you have your first one that's already lined up and you don't have to worry about doing that last one. So I just took these off. And then what I did is ungroup these and then made sure that everything was where it was supposed to be. And that will give you your last page. So now that we got those all done, what we want to do is we want to go down to our transitions. We want to use match and move. And we want to apply it between all the pages. And then what we want to do is we want to go up here and set our timing. So let's go up here and timing. So on the one that I did, I did 0.5. And I want that for all of my pages. So let's see. Well, no, let's not see. The next thing we need to do is we need to go into each page, not the first page or the last page, but we need to go into the second page on. And we want to go into our position. And what we want to do is we want to take this and delete those. So we're going to take each one, go through each page, click your group one and get rid of it. So we're going to take our template out. Trash. 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 And for some reason, my timing is changing as I'm trashing these. I don't know why, but we'll go back in there and fix our timing. Um, all right, so the last one is good. So let's go back in here. Let's put this at, tell it 0.5 again. Apply between all pages. Make sure they're at point five. And hold to hold on. Let's hopefully it looks right. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got a carousel, y'all. Look at it go. Da 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 da. And that's your carousel. And so, like, if you wanted to do something for like your sales, you could come up here and you know have your little. Instead of having a picture, you could have like a sign that says sale or something on it with your text on it and you know like that and you could have your advertisement like 50 percent off and you could have that on your first one and you could rotate those around too you could do all kinds of things if you're a real estate agent and you say listing 5072 whoa and then you know your name and whatever and then you have pictures of the interior of the house there's all kinds of things you can do with it now i'm going to hop off of here for a second and i'll come back to show you what you can do what it would look like if you put it on like a real or a short. So let me go hop off real quick so I can get a new screen. So now what I'm going to do is show you if you created it on a regular size video platform, what it would look like if you did the same thing. So you could do this and put like, um, say your store and you want to do your t-shirt. So it's XYZ t-shirt store at blah, 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 order here. You could put that in a hole or you could actually make it bigger. And then when it plays around, you can still see your items coming up. So you could actually make this very much bigger and have more items coming around if you really wanted to. But that's how you could do it in kind of like a short format. So just to let you get an idea that it can be used, I uploaded the video and then put it back into a short. So a short size thing, Insta Reels, shorts, whatever. So it can be used for those types of things. I just wanted to put that in there to let you know you can kind of do it that way. But I would do it on a regular size video first and then port it over to a shorts size template. Um, and that is the tutorial on the carousel. Thank you for sticking around if you made it this far. Thank you. I appreciate everything y'all do coming over here. Please subscribe if you have not. I have more things coming. Uh, you never know what pops into this brain of mine.